Hey guys, it's May May, and we tried to do a live today that did not work because the blurry monster came back. So we're working on that, but I thought what I would do is do this project start to finish just without editing for you guys, if I can. So it'll kind of be like we're live, but not really. And guess who's still in the room? Yeah, old Vinny's still here. <laughs> Trusty sidekick decided to stick it out with me. So I'm going to show you how to make this. So like I said in the live before, this is paper hey, plate just, inspired. What if I just pretend people are commenting? And you just put in whatever you want to put in? I just say whatever I want to say. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm nervous about that. We'll yeah, see what happens. So this is paper plate inspired. If you ever have been to um, Pinterest for anything, you will have seen where you can take a paper plate and slice it in certain places to turn it into like a little carry out dish for your guest. So basically you make this little takeout basket. It doesn't have a handle and a bunny face, but that's what we're going to do today. So super easy to do. Here's what you're going to start with. You're going to need a paper plate, not a paper plate, but an actual plate. This is a dinner plate. It's 10 and a half inches around. You could totally do this with a paper plate and turn it into a bunny, but I thought I'd show you how to use, you know, paper from your stash. I'm going to use a 12 by 12 piece of paper. That's this one in the back. And I'm going to use some strips to make the handle. Now on my handle, I wanted to do this frilly little um, punch edge, but I didn't want it to be super weak. So I did a second piece to layer underneath it. So that's why I have two strips. So those strips measure 12 by one. And let me see. What was it? One and a half? 12 by one and a half. So that's what those measure. So you need two of those. You're going to need two little bunny ears. These little white pieces are my ears. These are three and a half inch ovals. Okay. And then these two are the inserts and they are two and a half inch ovals that'll go inside. I did these on my scan and cut. So that's how I know those little measurements. Then these two ovals I punched with my two and one by one and three eighth punch to make the face, to help make the face. I've got some whisker pieces. Then let's talk eyes. So these two eyes are one inch white circles. And then these little circles are three eighths inch circles. And then just for fun, I made some teeth. I just did a little circle and have a little slit in the middle and then a heart for the nose. So that tells you the pieces you're gonna need. I just wanted to go ahead and tell you that so you could start gathering those up. And then we can make our little basket. So here's what you do first. You're gonna take this and put it into your scoreboard. So this is my big scoreboard. Get my embossing tool. We're going to score it in four places. So we're going to score it first at four inches, then at eight inches. Then we're going to turn it and score it at six. No, 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 not six. We're going to score it at three and nine. So three and nine. So that's your measuring. That's your score marks for your paper. Okay. Then are you keeping a long mini? Oh, yeah. You're just sitting out there minding your business, aren't you? I'm trying. Do you not have bunny basket questions? <laughs> well. <laughs> the dinner plate. That's what you want to ask questions about, isn't it? Yeah, when are we going to put some food on? That's what I would want to know, too. So here's what I'm doing with the dinner plate. Okay. I am eyeball centering this. If you need to measure, you certainly can, but I'm not going to stress about that. Y'all know I like to eyeball, and that's what I'm going to do. My other one was not perfect. I don't expect this one to be but we're gonna be as close as we can. So I'm taking a pencil and on top of my score mark, centering that dinner plate on that 12 by 12 paper the best that I can, just eyeballing it, I'm going to trace this dinner plate around, okay? Now you could totally just cut a circle with like your scan and cut or your, can you take that plate for me? Sure. <laughs> or your um, Cricut or anything like that, but I just thought this was super easy and everybody can do this. All right, pair of scissors, I'm gonna use my big ones and I'm going to cut this circle out. If you're not a great cutter, don't worry about it. This is gonna be one of those last minute things and you're just gonna do this for fun. So do your thing with your scissors. You gotta come up with filler time while I'm cutting this. Well, that's gonna be a struggle since nobody's actually commenting. Should I ask you a question? Oh, that would be scary, but if you feel like that's a necessity. Uh, what are you looking forward to for Easter? Well, um, it's going to sound weird. Why? Wow. If it's weird? No. Well, the church that we're attending now, the choir that is there has not sang an actual special song in parts ever that I know of. Ever. They probably have at some point. And for the first time on Easter, they're going to sing a song 
where we have taught them parts and they have learned how to sing with harmonies versus just singing along with the tune. I don't think that's weird. I'm excited for that too. I love Easter Sunday. It's one of my favorites. It's yeah. one of two of my favorites. My other favorite, and I said this in one of my videos, is I absolutely love when Christmas falls on Sunday. You can't beat that Sunday to me. I love yeah, that Sunday, true. but I love Easter Sunday as well. So I cut the circle and I folded the little um, score lines, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these two score lines um, and the way you'll tell which ones these are, you have the rectangle coming across here. You want to cut the side panels, okay? So I'm just going to take my scissors and lay it in that score line and just make a slice to the first score. Same here. These are going to be the sides of your basket. If you're using a paper plate, you could just kind of do the same thing or look on Pinterest and see how they tell you to do it. I think they have a kind of a way to measure it out or something. I'm not 100% sure about that. All right, so then these guys, I'm going to fold... You have an option. You can fold them inward and like do this so you have this little um, line showing, which can be cute, especially if you're using pattern paper. You can do it that way. Or you can put these guys on the inside if you don't want them to show, and you'll get this shape without that little line showing. I think I'll put them on the inside. Not for any I, reason. I know you were going to do that. I don't now, have you're to. You're a clean lines person. Well, one time in a video, I didn't do it that way, and a lot of people came back and told me that I needed to change it, so I thought I'll go with the majority on this one. If I were using pattern paper, I probably would put them on the outside because I think they'd be super cute in a different pattern. You mm. know what I'm saying? But um, I just think the majority always says hide lines. Isn't that funny, though? Wouldn't you mm -hmm. think the majority would kind of be like, it's handmade, do it any old way, but... Typically, when I ask that question, I, I think everybody would want it on the inside. Hide the, so lines. Hide the lines. If it were pattern paper, it would be cute, though, to show off the different patterns. I think it would anyway. So I'm just putting some glue in here. You do have to be careful where you put your glue because some of it doesn't, like the very top doesn't need glue because it's kind of, um, I'll show you why. It's hard to explain why, but the very top doesn't touch. So this very tip top corner right here. So just kind of put your finger there to remind yourself not to put glue and put glue everywhere else. Now, out of curiosity, why don't you glue both sides at the same time? Um, art glitter glue dries super fast. <laughs> Too fast, I think. Too fast for me, especially when I'm using this one ounce bottle. Um, it can get a little fast. So look, there's our little basket. Look at this. And you can totally use this for any time. If you just needed a little box, isn't that super cute? See on the inside how the lines look? Can you guys see that on that white paper? Are you um, struggling to get old Vinny to go, oh yeah, that's super cute. Everybody else would have said it was super cute, but they're not here today. It's just you. What a letdown. It is kind of a letdown. I'm just kidding. It's not a letdown. I appreciate that you stuck around. All right. Now I'm going to use a border punch. You can use anything you want. You don't have to use a border punch. You might have decorative scissors. You might want to cut this on your Cricut with some little decorative edge or on your scan and cut. Whatever you got in your stash. And I'm going to, guess what I'm going to do here? Eyeball center. Oh, that's shocking. <laughs> I'm eyeball centering where to start this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I have my glasses on, which means I can't see this very well. So I'm probably not going to do this perfect. How funny is it that with your glasses on, you can't see very well? Well, my eyes are over 40 and my optometrist told me that I had an option. I could get bifocals or I could just take my glasses off so I could see better. And I decided I would take them off, but I didn't take them off before we started. So you go leave them all. So yeah, they we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And you know what's funny? A lot of people are in my boat with this. I've talked to a lot of people lately that are like, I'm the same way. Hey, one thing I am gonna do real quick. See how these little scoops go like this on my border punch? I'm gonna try to line up two little scoops at the top to kind of be in the same spot. Again, just eyeballing it with my glasses that I can't see. So, hey, it's adventure crafting. I've heard of that before. <laughs> like Opie used to say. Sleeping on the ironing board was what? Adventure. That's right. If you guys are Andy Griffith fans, you'll remember that one. Super cool. All right. Let's get this one done. So what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to just go ahead and just not edit it and put it up so that way you guys will get to see it really super fast. That was kind of my plan because I don't want you to miss out on this basket. It's super cute. But the blurry monster was not going to win today, was it? Not today. Not <laughs> All right, then what I did was I just glued this on the middle section straight down to my little pink handle. No big deal. So, and I'm just centering it in the middle here, just like this. 
So that's my handle. And I really only did that so that these little pieces would have a little bit of support. Um, and before I put this onto the basket, I'm gonna do it kind of like this where I'm uh, working the fibers of the paper to get it to turn. Does that make sense? See how it does? I just It's easier than just trying to make it do it um, to just kind of work the papers and get, get that little arch in there. So to put it into the basket, this is, this is why I don't think you should carry it by the handle. I'm totally doing this as a last minute, I forgot a basket for someone, I'm gonna run in my craft room and make this little basket, right? So I'm gonna do this and just glue this in. But if you wanted this to be a more permanent situation, you might wanna use a brad, you know, where you could, or staple even. Stapling nowadays and leaving it showing is kind of a thing. Isn't that interesting? It's yeah, kind I'm of a thing. Because that seems like most people would think that was tacky. Back in the day, it was. Now it's kind of a thing. <laughs> showing your staple is fine. It's, it's interesting how stuff like that changes, right? I think it is. So I'm just, what am I doing? Eyeballing it. It's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be cute either way. Now we need a bunny face. This is so easy. You guys have seen me do this a thousand times. It feels like a thousand because these bunnies, I have seen bunnies in my dreams because I'm doing a lot of bunnies. Lots of bunnies. We, we did bunnies. Well, bunnies. you know, we did bunnies as my make and take at uh, the make it, uh, the make it go around at made it con. That's hard to say. So we did a hundred bunny bags and these pieces are actually leftover pieces from that. A lot of them are. So here's what I'm doing. I'm taking my big oval, adding some glue just in this area putting my little pink section in there because I need a little pink inside. And Mandy was in my office when I was working on my Saturday video and she saw the project, which I'm not gonna show you guys. You gotta come back for Saturday because it's super cute. It is a bunny though. And she said, wouldn't that be cute to have a little plaid insert? And that would be adorable if this pink was plaid. So play with your colors and stuff. And what if you did like a craft colored bunny? That would be adorable too, wouldn't it? I think it would. These two pieces that I'm turning into his little face, I'm just gonna overlap them and glue them together to make like um, cheeks, I think it is, or we talk about it that it's the muzzle or the nuzzle of the little bunny. And then for his eyes, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna glue these two together like in a figure eight. If you were at my make it go round table, you could make these bunnies in your sleep. We have done these. We have done it, we have done it. So there's the eyes. And then I'm gonna just put the little dots on here for the black, little dots of glue for that. One there, one there. You could totally make him cross-eyed or whatever you want to do. He's your bunny. Then I'm going to glue that to the back of this piece so that the eyes are kind of a slightly covered and kind of peeking over. I think that's kind of cute to do. So there's that. And then his little heart nose. Isn't this easy? Well, it seems like you're, you know, you make everything look easy, though. I did his heart facing up this time, but you could do it upside down. It's cute that way too. I don't know if I make everything look easy. Not everything. You ever see me make a prototype? Those never look easy. I have to work my way to easy. Cause I'll, yeah, but by the time you get it to the viewer, yeah. you make it look easy. But I'll start with stuff and it is hard. So these teeth, let me talk to you about these. I did these on my Cricut, so I had a whole bunch of these guys, so that's why I'm using them. But you could totally just cut two little rectangles and glue down there and get the teeth. It'd be perfectly fine that way. Now for his whiskers. And these whiskers are a little bit big. Um, I can't remember if I cut these. I think I cut them on my trimmer, but it's, you know, he's just cute, so I'm gonna go with them. If you wanna do thinner whiskers, feel free. I'm gonna just come right here and I'm just gonna do, you know, the way you do whiskers like in the in the in in this little starburst shaping of whiskers. Isn't that kind of the quintessential way whiskers are done? And I like to bring mine in a little bit close. I think they're cute in the middle. You don't think that's it? Well, I mean, I just love that you chose to use quintessential. Well, you know, it's like the way bunny, this is what we imagine. It's what we think of. So there's our three little whiskers on one side. Let's do them on the other. So Vinny, if I were giving you this basket, what would you hope was in it? This is this is kind of a trick because this is going to say what goes in your Easter basket. So think, you know, plan wisely. <laughs> if this basket were coming to you, what would you hope is inside of it? Well, since I can't really have, you know, the stuff that I would like to have in there. <laughs> because of dieting. Because of this whole trying to lose weight thing. Uh, but, so I would think, you know, stuff that I like. Well, it's help me out. Not food related. Oh, non-food? Non-food thing. Not even like low-carb food. Well, yeah. well, I mean, yeah. 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Because, I mean, you can't really put a stake in that basket. <laughs> I could put a certificate for a stake in the basket. Well, you could do that. And I could take you somewhere. I would not take you to the mistake house. That's good. Trust this me is, on that one. Hey, this is some... This, <laughs> this is foam from Scotty. By the way, did you know we named the tape? I heard that we named it Scotty. Yes. Do you want to hear what I say now? Are you ready for this? Foam me up, Scotty. I was going to say, you can't really say... Get it? Beam me up, Scotty. But I can say foam me up, Scotty, and that's so what we're funny. saying. So we're going to foam up this little bunny face. I'm going to put some on this side. And I may, I probably cut too much foam. Don't need this much. So use less when you do it. Save some foam. Save the foam. And I cut too much for here too, didn't I? All right. I will save this foam. Do y'all want to know how I save it? I bet somebody would want to know because I'm interested to know. I used to stick it to my foam tape, but I found that it, um, let me show you. Because I want you guys to know, because this is expensive tape and nobody wants to waste this. And I totally get that. So let me stick this on and I want to show you. So I used to stick it to the side because somebody said, oh, stick it to the side and you can peel it off. No, you can't. It ruins it. You can't do that. So what you can do, though, is stick it back here. See that? It's not perfect, and you want to make sure you put this where next time you go straight to that piece and use it. But you can stick it there, and it'll be there for the next time. So just a little tip. All right. Let's peel off some foam backer. Probably need my pokey tool for this because I'll be here all day if I don't. Is that well, tool? this have you ever filled the peeled the backer off of these foam squares? That's pretty stiff. It's good when you have this little guy to get under there. So, non-food items. Not even like beef jerky or what about sugar-free candy? <laughs> no to sugar-free candy? I'm gonna say no to that, yeah. Alright, we're gonna put his little face down and I just put it somewhere in here. I love that this basket is curved. I think it's so cute for the little face. Oh, I almost forgot this. Where's Miss Joan? She'd be reminding me. Or would Naoka. One of them always remind me to do my white dots. It's either Joan or Naoka. When we're doing the live show, they remind yeah. me. So little white dots in his eyes, because that just kind of brings him to life. Isn't that amazing how that does that? I think it's cool. And then we're going to glue his ears in. But we're not going to forget something real important. What do you think I'm not going to forget? What do all bunnies have to have? Well, whiskers. Got whiskers. Looks like you already got that. Yeah, what else? It's a it's not a trick question, but it, it's throwing you. All bunnies. And everybody out there watching right now is yelling what it is. I just glue these to the inside of the basket. And I gotta tell you something too, you're gonna think it's funny. I didn't use white paper as my 12 by 12. I did use white for everything else, but my 12 by 12 is that piece that comes in your pack that's kind of speckly. Let me do it like this. It's a great way to use up that speckly paper that we rarely know how to use. I tend to find ways to use it, but the last thing he needs, babe. Has to have a, tail. a tail that's right a cotton ball a little art glitter glue a little i'm putting a pretty good bit on there because i want it to stay and i'm just going to stick this to the back just like that and now he has a tail well it's hard to have a bunny without a tail it's true it's very true so there he is i wanted to make sure you guys got to see him because he's super easy and super fun to do that's the one we just did together this is my prototype you'll see the ears are different because i was using some ears i didn't really love they didn't work right so i redid them and that's why i think this one is so much cuter well, there you go. I know it wasn't live. We tried to do it as close to live as we could. We did it live. We're going to edit it, and I mean, I'm going to put it up without editing it so you guys can see the whole thing. We appreciate your patience with our Blurry Monster. We don't have a clue what it is, but Vince is emailing or is a text messaging our technician right now to see what's going on. Yeah. So we'll get it fixed as soon as possible. And we love you very much. Thanks so much for being patient with us and sticking around while we get this fixed. I promise we will. Talk to you again real soon. Bye, guys. Bye.